Hello, welcome to XLExperts.com. Today's Excel tip is on how to find the last Friday of the month. So if you do month end reporting, this tip could be particularly useful for you. So let's enter today. It's the 1st of April and this is not an April Fool. So the first thing we need to do is to find the first day of next month. So to do that, we just construct a date and the year we take from the year of today, the month we take from the month of today and add one and the day is one. So this is the first day of next month, 1st of May 09. Then we get the weekday of the first day of next month and we find that it is six. What does that mean? If we format cells and we format it as CDD. So weekday returns one to seven with Saturday being seven and Friday being six. So what we can do is if we subtract minus this, if we subtract six the weekday of that day, we will get the, the last Saturday in this month. Okay. How does that work? Well, if the first day of next month is a Friday and the weekday is the sixth, is, is six, we, we move back six days, which guarantees that we'll be on a Saturday. We're only moving back six days, so we can't be any further than the last Saturday of this month. So that's the last Saturday of this month. And to get the last Friday of this month, we just subtract one. You've been watching XLExperts.com. Thank you for listening.